Hi, good night. Um, creating this video to introduce the new forward programming um, for smaller radios. Um, like before, you can use a limited version of the forward programming in version 55. You can change the majority of the values, but you cannot set up a plane from scratch. And um, what happened in that one is that the plane configuration was hard coded to the um, regular tail as well as regular wings. In uh, version 56, you can change, uh, you, you can have like all the wing types as well as all the tail types. One of the challenges with this one is the memory on the radios. These are radios that are very, very limited. So the first thing that we have to validate is that we have in the um, models, a directory that is called the SM data. And that one, you can do it in the SD card from your computer, but make sure that is there because this is where the models uh, are, are, are stored, the configuration for the DSM. So now let's go back to the scripts. So with the memory, the very first time that we run it, it's going to compile as well as run. So in many radios, limited memory probably will not run the very first time. So we'll try again, try here. Yeah, because it was compiling and trying to run it. So it uh, probably doesn't. So we have to still connected. power on the radio again. Turn it on. So now we're Welcome starting with a very clean memory on the radio. Warning. And now it should run. So in here, we're going to go through um, kind of the normal airplane setup. Right now, I have only airplanes. And we're going to do, uh, for example, dual aileron with rudder and elevator. So here is asking me what is the left aileron. We're going to use channel six and um, the normal channel, channel one that is in, in port two of the, um, of the receiver. Like in, remember that in a spectrum, they have a throttle aileron elevator rudder. And in the normal uh, radio here, we have um, aileron elevator throttle rudder. So, that's why you will see that, for example, he's, it says that is the port two, but it's channel one, as well as port one that is channel three, that is my throttle. So the multi-module is doing a lot of that translation, so you don't have to do it, but that's why it's displayed here like that. And here my rudder, elevator. And then if I need to reverse any channel, but right now I don't need to reverse it anything until we try. So we'll leave it just like that. And then it will save the, the module when you're trying to exit. So now we go to the actual forward programming to get into a receiver. Again, memory probably will not run the first time. It's loading about 400 messages into memory but probably it's not going to be enough. So we have to do the same trick. Receiver still connected. Powering on. Welcome to HTX. Throttle warning. And now we run it. So now we should be able to load the majority of the messages. So now we can, for example, I just reset this radio. So we will go to first time set up. Fly mode channel. Let's select something here. For example, I will move the switch. So channel five. And we can validate that the channel works here. And here are some of the capture the attitude. 
on here where you can change all the all the values. So yeah, that's kind of the, the initial setup that before we couldn't do it. The other thing that was not um, allowed in the previous version is where you have uh, relearn servo settings. So in this case, relearn servo settings is working well because it's passing the real configuration of the of the plane. Just that, that you can see the. Um, I also included the previous versions because it uses a lot less memory, but uh, the plane is hard coded. So as long as you don't do the initial setup or you don't do the relearn servo settings, this one could work for kind of daily use. Let's see if it works with the, the memory. I, th I think this one will, will run regardless. Yeah. But if you see here, I'm kind of warning you what are the features that you shouldn't use <laughs> in this version? So just um, make sure of that. Don't use the relearn servo settings only with the other one. Now this version runs the majority of the times because it uses a lot less, less memory than the other one. compared to, for example, 56, that probably in just run the very first time that um, after powering the radio. Yeah. So that's kind of the tricks. It's like you have to run it probably just clean Receiver still connected. from uh, after a pop power on the radio to be able to do it. In, Welcome to um, HTX. Probably some of the newer radios it will run uh, correctly. For example, the Boxster has more memory, the um, TX12 Mark II has more memory. So this one, the, this radio is one of the more restrictive ones. So that's uh, kind of what I wanted to share. Thank you.